In this presentation, we will cover the Production and Operations Manager for Southwest Airlines. We will also discuss how we will control each implementation that we discuss. The chosen strategy for Southwest Airlines in this presentation is the implementation of AirTran. Production is the action of making or manufacturing components or raw materials, or the process of being so manufactured. Southwest Airlines is known for only producing and using Boeing 737s. This means that their maintenance staff can perform the necessary repairs when needed. Compared to other companies, Southwest does not produce goods for sale, meaning they do not have a dedicated storefront to sell products. Southwest offers a variety of products and services designed to take the stress out of air travel. Some of these products that Southwest offers are early bird check-in, pause, business select, Southwest charter, self-tagging, and other products. These products are available to help its customers. The easier the process of booking and boarding a flight is for the customer, this will help guarantee that the customer will return and become loyal to their brand. There are three production operation issues. One, restructuring and re-engineering. Two, managing resistance to change. And three, deciding where and how to produce goods. These are especially important for a successful strategy all of these issues are equally as important when looking into production and operational issues. Southwest Airlines is looking into using AirTran to help maximize its profitability. The AirTran strategy will be used to make the most efficient routes and help redesign their flight paths. In the long run, this will help Southwest become more profitable because Southwest will be able to offer flights at more frequent times than they have been before. With Southwest redesigning their flight paths, they will be able to expand more flights into California. California is a key market the firm is expanding into with a market development strategy. Southwest is a domestic market leader in revenue with California businesses, no matter if the customers were flying from, to, or within the state. By Southwest incorporating more flights, they will be able to offer more flights to their current customers. With this new flight path, Southwest is going to offer more international flights to its customers as well. By Southwest implementing the air trans strategy, they will be able to succeed in incorporating more flights in and out of California. The production related decisions with this strategy are the small details that Southwest needs to cover to make this strategy work. Southwest will not be growing their plant sizes or opening new airports. They will use existing airports to offer more flights to their customers. The location of these airports will stay the same. However, Southwest will be opening more gates at their current locations. Southwest choice of equipment is the Boeing 737. They are the only airlines that only uses one planes for their flights. This helps lower their cost control and helps mechanic, mechanics and pilots in their job specialization. Southwest employees will need to be trained on having flights occur more often in their, in their current airports. The AirTran component of this strategy a major technological innovation for the air industry. With the company incorporating air trans, they will be able to become more efficient in the flights they offer, as well as adding additional flight paths to their plane. Operations managers are chiefly concerned with planning, organizing, and supervising in the context of production, manufacturing, or the provisions Southwest strategy to implement AirTran will help with their flight plans and organization. Operations in the air industry are continually pressed because of the incredibly thin margins. 
rising cost, and a very high demand for exemplary customer service. With Southwest Airlines taking over and incorporating Air Trans into their system, they will be able to better deal with the demand for quality customer service. Customers want to be able to take flights that they need with the company they trust. With Southwest revamping their flight pass, they will be able to cater more to their current customers. One of the reasons Southwest Airlines has been profitable for the past 39 years is that they only use one type of aircraft. They use the Boeing 737. This is a key point in their success in operations management because the mechanics only have one type of aircraft to work on if something goes wrong. Southwest principally provides point-to-point -point service rather than hub and spoke service provided by most major airlines. This means that Southwest will be able to offer more direct flights without stops or delays. The strategy for Southwest to purchase and incorporate Air Trans into their business model helps Southwest become able to reach more customers and more frequently. AirTran's most notable contribution has been accelerating Southwest entry into the international market. AirTrans will become an important part in the operations management for Southwest Airlines. With incorporating AirTrans into their business model, they will be able to keep their fleet of Boeing 737s because that is also what AirTrans uses as well. Southwest will have more planes that they will be able to use in the United States as well as internationally. Control is a regulatory process of establishing standards to achieve organizational goals, comparing actual performance against the standards and taking corrective actions when necessary. The control process consists of establishing clear standards, comparing those standards to other standards, taking corrective actions when needed, receiving feedback, but sometimes control isn't all worthwhile. The control process for Southwest, Southwest Airlines would include establishing clear standards for their employees, comparing their standards to other airlines to ensure that they are competing at the highest level, and if they're not competing at the highest level, then they need to take those corrective actions to ensure that they are competing at the highest level and consider all feedback they receive from their guest. Managers use five different methods to achieve control over their organizations. Those five controls are bureaucratic control, which is top-down control. It is used by management to try and influence employees' behavior. The next control is objective control. It is used to observe employees' behavior. Normative control is the employee's widely shared values and beliefs that help to guide the employee's behavior. Conservative control is the beliefs that are shaped and negotiated by work groups. Lastly, self-control, also known as self-management, is when managers and workers control their own behavior. Controlling something is not always worthwhile or even possible but it can be achieved if it's done correctly. Oftentimes, controlling something fails if someone is trying to control too much. So what should a company try to control? Companies should try to control things like the balance scoreboard, the financial perspective, the customer's perspective, the internal perspective, the innovation and learning perspective. For Southwest Airlines, this would mean they need to try to control things like keeping their customers and employees satisfied by providing exceptional flights, controlling their budgets and their value, and implementing new technology each and every day, which would produce more learning and innovation for the company. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the production and operations duties. What are those duties? Those duties consist of the process of the company, the capacity of the company, the company's inventory, the company's workforce, and the company's quality. Let's talk about the process of a company. The process decisions include technology, facility layout, process flow analysis, the facility location, line balancing, process control, and transportation analysis. 
Something big that happened for Southwest in recent years was the integration of AirTran. In our view, AirTran's most notable contribution has been accelerating Southwest entry into the international markets. Geographically, AirTran added 21 cities to their Southwest network and seven of these cities lie in the international market. This is big for Southwest. This allowed them to grow their business, take on new technology and new locations that help to expand their company and grow their company. Next, let's talk about capacity. Capacity decisions include things such as forecasting, facilities planning, scheduling, capacity planning, things of that nature. Capacity utilization is a, major, is a major consideration. AirTran has made Southwest the largest domestic airline based on the number of passengers flown. The integration of AirTran for Southwest has allowed them to expand and be able to accommodate more people. They can fly more places, so that increased their capacity. It gave them more customers and it allows them to just be more successful as a company. Let's talk about inventory next. Inventory decisions involve managing raw materials, work in process, and finished goods. Inventory for Southwest Airlines looks a little different because their inventory consists of purchasing airplane tickets, not going to the store and buying groceries or something like that. So for them, the more plane tickets they sell, the better they are. And with the integration of AirTran, they're able to sell more tickets because they're able to fly more places. This is really good for their inventory and it has actually increased since the integration of AirTran. Next, let's talk about the workforce. Workforce includes managing the skilled, unskilled, clerical, and managerial employees. This is done by caring for job design, work measurement, job enrichment, work standards, and motivation techniques. Managing workforce for Southwest would include their work standards are always exceptional. They are always kind and patient with their passengers. And the, with the integration of AirTran, they treat those new passengers that were once flying with AirTran are now flying with Southwest with that same kindness. They show them the Southwest way. The last duty we're going to talk about is quality. Quality within a business is done by ensuring that high quality goods and services are produced by caring for quality control, sampling, testing, quality assurance, and cost control. Quality for Southwest would be that every flight is treated the same, no matter the distance. Good quality always brings customers back to them in the future. Another quality would include low prices for their flights, which they already do, but maintaining those is good quality. Here's a quote from an article by Snyder. Southwest said, has said it intends to keep its policies of no bag fees, no assigned seats, and a single class of service. This may be a big change for air train customers, but it should be, a, it should be positive for them. AirTrain customers are not used to receiving this type of quality from AirTrain, but with the integration of Southwest, they will now receive this type of quality when they fly. So this is a great quality for Southwest to keep, and it will always keep their customers coming back. So today I'm going to leave you with Southwest's vision and mission statement. Their vision statement states, to become the world's most loved, most flown, and most profitable airline. Their mission statement states, we live by the golden rule, treating customers and employees the way they wish to be treated. We strive to offer low cost air travel to connect people to their loved ones and businesses. We strive to create a safe environment for our employees and customers in every phase of the airline service. Our philosophy is living the Southwest way, which is being a warrior with a servant's heart a fun attitude that attracts customers, employees, and shareholders.
Hunter and I would just like to thank each and every one of you for watching our presentation. We hope that you learned something about the production and operations of Southwest Airlines. Thank you and have a great day.